Welcome to another Baby Rhyme Time at Home. I'm Miss Julie, and this is Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers will help us sing our opening song. As we sing this song, insert your little one's name in the space. I'll sing the word friend. Hello, hello, friends. We welcome you today. Hello, hello, friends. We'll sing and read and play. Yay! Clap your hands. Good job. I'm going to sing to you one more time. Let's do it again, okay? Here we go. Hello, hello, friends. We welcome you today. Hello, hello, friends. We'll sing and read and play. Yay! Clap them if you got them. Woo! Good job. We always want little ones to make positive associations with this program. So remember to share this with them only when they're feeling happy and receptive to it. That's the best way to share books with your baby, too. Try reading to them a little bit at a time throughout the day when they're feeling calm and relaxed. What does the kitty say? Mew, meow, 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 meow. That's right. Meow, meow. Like that. Let's say a poem for Mr. Whiskers. He's nothing much but fur and two round eyes of blue. He has a mighty purr and a tiny mew. Mew, mew, mew. Let's touch some body parts. And grown-ups, on the last line, you'll lift baby high into the air. Here we go. Cheek, chin, cheek, chin, cheek, chin, nose. Cheek, chin, cheek, chin, cheek, chin, toes. Cheek, chin, cheek, chin, up baby goes. Yes, clap your hands. Very good. Let's do it again. Cheek, chin, cheek, chin, cheek, chin, nose. Cheek, chin, cheek, chin, cheek, chin, toes. Cheek, chin, cheek, chin, up baby goes. Very good. Grown-ups, close one hand into a fist. These will be the peas that will emerge. And place your other hand on top. On the last line of this, you'll clap your hands when the pea pod pops or help baby clap theirs. Here we go. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until at last that pea pod popped. Very good. Let's do it again. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until at last that pea pod popped. Grown-ups, take that invisible imaginary flea at the tip of your finger and walk it up your baby's body. Here we go. Creeping, creeping, little flea, up my leg and past my knee. To my tummy, on he goes, past my chin and to my nose. Now he's creeping down my chin, to my tummy once again. Down my leg and past my knee, to my toe, that little flea. Gotcha! Tickle, 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 tickle. Very nice, very nice. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Creeping, creeping, little flea, up my leg and past my knee. To my tummy, on he goes, past my chin and to my nose. Now he's creeping down my chin, to my tummy once again. Down my leg and past my knee, to my toe, that little flea. Gotcha! Tickle, 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 tickle. On the first two lines, you'll lean baby over to one side and then the other. On the third line, hold baby gently and firmly and then drop them between your knees. And then on the last line, lift them high in the air. Here we go. Fell into the bathtub, fell into the sink, fell into the jelly jar and came out pink. Yay! Clap your hands. Good job. Let's do it again. Here we go. Fell into the bathtub, fell into the sink, fell into the jelly jar and came out pink. 
In the first verse, you'll rock baby side to side, giving them a good wibble wobble. In the second verse, you'll bounce them up and down. And in the third, you'll hold them gently but firmly and drop them between your knees so they can splash in that puddle. And on the last word, wee, you'll lift them high in the air. Here we go. Jelly on the plate, jelly on the plate, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on the plate. Cookies in the tin, cookies in the tin, shake them up, shake them up, cookies in the tin, and puddle on the ground, puddle on the ground, splash in it, splash in it, puddle on the ground, whee! Good job! Let's do it again, shall we? Here we go. Jelly on the plate, jelly on the plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on the plate. Cookies in the tin, cookies in the tin. Shake them up, shake them up. Cookies in the tin and puddle on the ground, puddle on the ground. Splashing it, splashing it. Puddle on the ground. Wee! During this next song, see if baby will hold on to your fingers as you extend their arms out in front of them and then bounce them up and down like they're riding a horse. On the last line, when we say, whoa, my pony boy, pull them back into your embrace and give them a nice squeeze. Here we go. Pony boy, pony boy, won't you be my pony boy? Marry me, carry me far away with you. Don't say no, here we go, far across the plains. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, whoa, my pony boy. Very nice. Did you enjoy that? Okay, here we go again. Pony boy, pony boy, won't you be my pony boy? Marry me, carry me far away with you. Don't say no, here we go, far across the plains. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Whoa, my pony boy. Let's say this one together and then we'll sing it. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Let's sing it one more time. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Very nice. Today's early literacy tip. As you read to your little one, pause to ask lots of WH questions, such as, What does the dog say? Where is the pig? And, Why did the frog jump away? At first, you'll be answering for your baby, but they'll answer for themselves before you know it. Research shows that this kind of dialogic reading is effective in supporting emergent literacy. That must mean that it's time to find out what's hiding in the rhyme time bag today. Can you guess what it might be? Let's sing the rhyme time bag song together. What is in the rhyme time bag, a puppet, toy, or book? What is in the rhyme time bag? Let's have a little look. One more time. What is in the rhyme time bag? A puppet, toy, or book. What is in the rhyme time bag? Let's have a little look. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. What is that? Is it a frog? That's right, it is a frog. Let's say a rhyme about three hopping frogs. Following along with the words of this rhyme, you'll bounce baby up and down, then slowly, then side to side, and then on the last line, you'll lift baby high up into the air. Here we go. Three little frogs were hopping in a row. The first little frog hopped very slow. The second little frog hopped side to side, the third little frog hopped up so high. Very nice. Let's do it again. Three little frogs were hopping in a row. The first little frog hopped very slow. 
The second little frog hopped side to side. The third little frog hopped up so high. Holding baby around the waist, you can lift them into the air a few inches higher with each floor, or holding baby's arms or legs, lift their limbs a little bit higher with each floor. Here we go. Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, down to the basement. Good job. Let's do it again. Here we go. Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, down. Good job. Thank you for joining us for another Baby Rhyme Time Home Edition. Have fun and be well. Mr. Whiskers and I will see you again soon.